It's freezing here. You better not be wrong about this scent. Me? Wrong? Ha! How absurd. The most spectacularly delicious fruit in the world is just ahead. No fruit is worth tromping through all this ice and shit. If I'd known it would be this cold, I'd have stayed in the forest and tracked down Zeus's sisters. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Can you really kill an intoner? Shay! But this better be the best damn fruit I ever tasted. Don't you worry. It is delicious beyond compare. The fruit is called a mandesium. Though I don't know, eaten alone, it has a clean, crisp taste of red little spring. But you can also make it into a rich jam to spread on bread or meat. And nutritious? Oh my heavens, yes. Far more so than your typical fruit, I might add. Tell me, is it any good for the old trouser snake? Good? It's nothing short of spectacular. <laughs> well, there's a piece of fine news. I can already feel my emotions stirring at the thought. Oh, God damn it. Too slow. Oh, hello, doggy. Back me up. Cerberus, huh? Hey, you think he tastes any good? Who can say? I doubt many ever had the chance to sample one. I ate one once. Not bad. Lots of gristle. Gristle is the best part! <sighs> Lady Zero, your diet is a bewildering thing. Yeah, Lady Zero's diet is a terribly, terribly rewarding thing. Or terrifying thing, whichever floats the boat at the time. We pretty much got one dead dog. Yay! All here for some stupid fruit, honestly. What were they thinking? Well, I can actually imagine the answer is they weren't, but uh, hey. New no, no treasure just made me paranoid, but uh, it's entirely possible they stuffed them all in one area. God damn it, it's cold. Where's your stupid Mendesian already? Oh, we're close. <laughs> Ever so close. I'm going to turn it into jam and eat it by the spoonful. I'm gonna rub it all over my yard. So, I can't believe we're actually trusting this idiot. You need to stop her here! Let's do this! Her sword! I can't even follow it! Don't stand still! Well, he's a sword. That treasure chest there. Are you sure? Seems kind of easy to get. Oh dear. Worthless trash. I hate worthless trash. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I may have been a little off on this. Oh, I just remembered. It's actually in the chest up ahead. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're not the only one, mate. Well, we will trust him at his word for now. Hope that he does actually know what he's talking about. Okay, hands up, people. Who thinks Sens know what he's talking about? The answer is yes. Yeah, you're wrong. Uh, is there anything actually over here on this branch? No. What did I get? I'll kill you. I swear I'll kill you! Even more worthless trash! Uh, yeah, it's not this one. Sand. Very displeased. Maybe the next mountain over? Or maybe the next station Sand? Yes? You're just making shit up, aren't you? Me? No, no, never! <laughs> No! It's definitely, probably, somewhere, 
Thomas Cotner? That's it. I'm gonna pull your heart out your asshole. Oh, hey, now I remember. It's right over there. Get over here. So I can kill you. Why Ready? Would you wish for, fool? Ready, sir. He's an intoner. The dark intoner bent on destroying the world. Come on, Ogre Man. Kelsey's going to knock the ghost out of it. Come on. Mm. Might as well put the glove. Anytime you're ready. Oh. Uh. There we go. Spirit. Spirit. Where'd the spirit go? That. There we go. Uh. Alright. Don't be so grouchy about it. Jeez. I only helped you by knocking a spirit out of you. Uh. Hooray for violence! Yay! Alright, sent my lad. Moment of truth. When the loan screen happens, of course. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey, this looks promising. This this is promising, right? Right here. This is it for sure. Uh oh. And... <sighs> okay, executive decision. Next time we see a Cerberus, we're gonna feed it scent. <sighs> what an idiot. Battered and exhausted after following scent like a bunch of idiots. We were forced to take shelter on a snowy mountainside. I want to sleep. Oh, can't take this anymore. <laughs> Behold my massive trunk. But if you don't change course soon, things are not going to end well. Is that what your little book says? Indeed. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. So you're not going to show it to me? I've been instructed not to interfere with the world. Liar! No, it's true. But, well, nobody said I couldn't give little bits of advice, at least. What the hell are you, anyway? We're recorders. Recorders? Right. It's our job to record world events from the ancient past to the distant future. You know the old world you people are always going on about? Well, I was sent by folks from there. Listen, I don't know jack about the old world. But if you're following me just to make recordings or whatever, you can knock it the fuck off! Well, sure. That's all I'm supposed to be doing. 
But after all these bad endings you keep encountering, I'm really tempted to help. Now let's try and wrap things up in a way that benefits all of us, hmm? Like I need you to tell me. I can wrap things up myself. See? I bring you everything. I bring you murder, I bring you dragons, and I bring you boobs. Not so bad. That's because you don't like boobs, then you only get dragons and murder, but hey, I'm not perfect. I do what I can. Alrighty then. That is... Two down out of three or four. I can't remember. Either way, we're going to leave it there for today, and next time pick up on a few more loose ends. Find out what's really going on around here. What exactly is a chord? Who exactly is a chord? Mm. Tricky, tricky. Either way, um, also if I remember right, one of the next introduction things is actually really funny and kind of nasty, but still. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the sets, and uh, there won't be one tomorrow. That'll be Alien. It'll be the day after. So what's, what is it? Friday? Friday. Yes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Oh yeah, let me know what you think, as usual, 